Working remotely can be a challenge, especially for teams that are new to it. How do you deal with your work environment being the same as home while staying productive? At a time when teams must come together more than ever to solve big challenges, Trello's here to help. Trello, part of Atlassian's collaborative suite, has been powering remote teams globally for almost a decade. Trello keeps everyone on the same page, helping teams communicate, focus, and connect. Try Trello for free and learn more at Trello.com. That's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. Dan and Rand and Jay will share tales of folks so unaware they lack in grace and sometimes choose the life they choose will make the news. Breaking down each epic fail in Florida, there's half price bail. I'm happy to say they couldn't make this up. So listen to our podcast jam with co-host Arm and Dan. Then don't be a jerk. Hey Townies, welcome to a little mini soda of Dumb People Town. Population you. Population Rothbart. Yes. Hey guys. Of the berry variety. Hi. Welcome, Hi. welcome to Dumb People to Town. Show. Is this how I sound normally? Or yep, am I all the time. Am I altering it's A lot of life. people talk Do about it. Do you think you're on NPR? I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Can you please? Hi. Uh, I'm Barry Rothbard. I'm Diane Ream. Remember? <laughs> I love Diane Ream. the worst Ream. one? Diane Ream. Yeah. yeah. I Poor. just like all the, like, I'm Audi Cornish. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm Snake Paprikash. <laughs> what? Is that something I pour on my meat? <laughs> And it's snake paprikash. Snake. Is it snake or sneak? I think it's snake paprikash. Is Adi Cornish a real, uh, like, I, I've heard her name. But that is, is the she... best way to prepare a hen. Is she real? <laughs> no. That's when you that's Probably. when you put a that's when you put a full hand in the engine of an Audi A4 <laughs> and it comes out fully crisp. That's an Audi Cornish. Uh, hey guys, we don't have much time here because this is a, mini a, this is a little snack that we serve you as you get to your next uh, uh, next dumb people town, and we love that we're starting to do this, and we are having on people that we love, comedians that we know and love. That someone who has a new podcast on this network, and you guys love me. We love you. Brian. I love you as a comedian. Oh, thank uh, you. I'm thinking back to a set that you. You did at the Josh and Josh show where we were in the back and I just oh uh, that was phenomenal I laughed that. my ass I'm like this guy is hilarious that was actually you happened to see me on a really good night you were I'm amazing usually not that good you okay were on good fire. well yeah. I'm glad you're here with us because uh, we all believe that the world is getting dumber Barry as we sit here I absolutely believe that okay I've, I've I, seen let me, evidence let me refine that I mean because I know we got into a debate with Todd Glass about it yeah, and people were mad at Todd we're Glass. right no we're right Todd's dumb because no, he doesn't Todd's I'm kidding smart. I'm kidding but what I do think is <laughs> dumb is Dumb and smart are now in a, fighting with each other in, in a, a way that, lock. that it never has before, and dumb is winning. And definitely louder. Yeah. I mean, when when the woman who's like the Department of Homeland, like Security. she's- Senator Call, bro. Did, you, did anyone see Orrin Hatch take off glasses? Yes, that that Orrin Hatch face? took- I, That's my favorite thing. I've never thing. seen anything like Orrin that. Orrin Hatch in a meeting took off I glasses mean, that he wasn't even wearing. <laughs> The only thing Here's better the than him part. doing that yeah, was the best all part. of my friends tweeting about it in a row. Yeah. I tweeted about it. Okay, and I was, What's the best part about it? The best part is like everyone's done that. Everyone's been like, oh, maybe I have glasses on. <laughs> but no one has the space work that he had. <laughs> he had it was like an improv trade. No, he's on a Herald he, team now. He's, he uh, his fully, object training was perfect. <laughs> he's on a he Herald He fully team. took off glasses that didn't exist. Like it, did, it wasn't like he touched his face. It was like, oh, oh shoot. I don't no, know. No, he did it so well that it made me think that he did take them off and he folded them I think I know. he talked with them he doubled down and started talking with them <laughs> he moved them to the <laughs> string he and put then them put them back on and then put them on an imaginary <laughs> and then string put around them his neck up on top of the crown of his head and looked for them for a while and he did the real gun the improv gun you know yeah. he didn't oh, do yeah. like the took over gun. the scene he really took the over the scene and gun. when he talked on a phone he didn't put a finger up to his mouth he actually right. held an iPhone held an I was going to do that one an iPhone all right uh, greatest <laughs> joke in the history of the office when Michael keeps pulling out a gun in the improv scene, and uh, then they're like, you cannot use a gun in this scene. He goes, okay, fine, fine, fine. They start the next scene, and they're going, he walks up to somebody, he goes, and they're like, hold on, what did he just whisper to you? He told me he yeah, had a gun. gun. Oh, my God. Oh, All right, well, God. the world is getting dumber, and I want to jump into a story because it was sent to us by our lovely dumb ears on the ground. It and was. It's, Dan, look, Dan knows the story on a cursory level. <laughs> yeah. Barry hasn't seen it. I haven't seen it. Jay hasn't seen it. I swear. Let's get into it. I usually go headline... How's the photo? And then I read it yep. with you. Yep. Uh, this was sent in by Optimal Illusion. <laughs> Optimal Tax Relief. Optimal Illusion. Optimal. Is that someone's Twitter like handle? The, is that be the best illusion you can get? 
Yeah. So optical, optimal illusion. Optimal, optimal illusion, illusion is the Twitter handle. Optimal Prime is the Instagram account. Sure. sure. Optimal illusion is the name of a lens store. That, that isn't I, real. <laughs> that, that isn't real. real. Opth- <laughs> optimal. Optimal. Right. That's a fake eye doctor. <laughs> Uh, the handle is at MRC underscore SPS. Okay. I have no clue. That's some code. I always think when people uh, have handles like that, they're, they're, right. they got on Twitter to do something other than be themselves. Right. Mm, they, troll. They, Russian yeah, troll. Yeah. For uh, sure. Russian troll. Russian troll. Or maybe it was a burner account and then they ended up taking it and over I like, for nah, real I like life. this one better. Yeah. Well, do drug dealers have burner accounts? Like that's how they <laughs> have to. Have to. <laughs> they when they're done with their account, they just rip their Twitter in half and throw it in throw a drawer. Away. <laughs> the Orlando Police Department says, "I like that." That even in Orlando, they're like, "This is what the cops say." We don't. We don't trust it. <laughs> we don't trust this is what anybody. they say. They don't, don't have evidence. They're just making any. a lot of false claims. I'm just telling you what they said, <laughs> and that you trust them as much as the you police. want. We're still in Orlando. The yes. police said this. Yes. Yeah, I'm just gonna say this about Orlando. I flew from before we get into this. I flew from Fort Myers back to Los Angeles with my mm. whole family. That like few days after. That's my favorite flight. I just want to say yeah. <laughs> the, with Randy's family. <laughs> with <laughs> family. When Barry left with Randy's. Okay, family. so we had to connect in Orlando, and the Orlando airport was doing construction. So they made us. I've never had this happen in my life, where you land from another. You land for another airport, and then we had to go out of security and go back through security again. Oh, why? they do that in Chicago, too. Southwest Wait, why? does that for their international flights. You I was like, that. you got to go back oh, out. Is there security. any way you can inconvenience me more? Yeah. So I come Is back out. Do I have to get new seats now from the plane? I'm not, I'm not saying there were like 100 people in line when we came <laughs> out of there. I came out with my kids, and it was, I'm not joking, like thousands of people and it seemed like everybody was trying to do trying to get something on the plane that shouldn't have been there it's oh. like just like a, a, a family <laughs> with like one person who didn't have a ticket and like Perfect. three people trying to get an alligator on the plane. it was like i'm like what the fuck is happening That's in right. orlando i feel like that about cvs sometimes you go into like a rite aid or a cvs mm-hmm. and there's always an old lady paying with change mm-hmm. and like paying with Why is change, she paying with change, change and having a complaint about something and showing like, a receipt probably because she couldn't find the sliced cheese <laughs> yeah, yeah or a paper clip anyway yeah. so That's orlando. Crazy, man. Orlando. the orlando police said They said, a man was rescued last night after he stole a swan boat at Lake Eola and then marooned himself on the fountain. Wait, what? Lake Eola is... It's like a tourist lake. Okay. It's not real. So our dad, when we were younger... You love fishing. You Here's a picture it. of the lake and the swan boat for everybody. Yeah, I love that they say the fountain as if we can it's all a picture beautiful that. fountain. It's a gorgeous <laughs> fountain in the middle, in the middle of, of a lake. That's and definitely then a swan boat. <laughs> so this guy stole a swan boat. A swan boat is like a paddle boat a in the shape of a swan. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then there's a. But our dad would like take us fishing when we were kids. He would when he wanted to just get a quick fish in. We would drive by, he'd see a lake, and he'd be like, "Hang on, I just want to drop a line in." And there were times he would go into man-made lakes in corporate office parks that he knew had they had I'm like, stuck, There were times I'm like, I don't think we can – there's a fountain in the middle of this lake, <laughs> like with a sculpture in it. I don't yeah. think we can fish it's in this. It's like at the bank. Your dad would take fishing? swan boats to do that? Yes. That's crazy. Why my, are we fishing at the bank? This is weird. My dad was uh, killed by a swan boat. No. He was run over by – this is a true story. Marooned Wait. by a swan boat? <laughs> So he, this guy stole a swan boat. Yes. Fine. This jo- was his swan song. <laughs> <laughs> at, at Sklar Brother. Yeah, he did it to himself. Tom. If you want any anger, send it his way. Yeah, he stole a swan boat and then marooned himself. It, to me, I want to know what the happened r- right before What this. is marooning? It's when you get stuck, stuck somewhere. Yeah. Kind of on, beached on it. Yeah. Beached on yeah. a yeah. thing. No, but, it's when you host The Voice. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Then, oh, that's I don't know why that made me laugh so much. It it some jokes that absolutely really, I really shouldn't have. With. It absolutely <laughs> shouldn't. But I want to know what happened right before this because no one is like, uh, I got a few hours. I'm but I wonder if he Lake feels Eola. like he's stuck hosting the voice, like he's <laughs> like <laughs> I landed in hey this man, job and I can't get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that's how he can told it to police yeah, for five that's years. How he expressed I'm himself. No, but I'm you know that he probably now. had just gotten kicked out of a bar. Yep, and he's like, "What am I gonna do now?" Oh, tell there me, it is. I can't have fun tonight. Yeah, here. When you, so it was a joyride. It wasn't like he was trying to. Uh, I, what if he was trying to commit a crime and he, that was his getaway? That's his getaway. 
Gonna Wait. tell me is the way. What is joy rides? Listening. When people steal cars for joy rides, what are they doing? They're just like, taking it and driving it as fast as they can. It used for to be fun. just for like, novel. oh man, this would be yeah. really fun. I'm gonna steal a car. I think back when it was like novel to have a car, Fuck. people would steal them for joy rides. I think what we know from this already is when you get drunk during the day, you have more options for mischief. Sure, so, <laughs> like a swan boat isn't an option if you're drunk at three in the you're morning. You're not seeing that. Let me ask you guys this: yeah. if you find the boat on the water. Take it out on the water, yeah. With which it was already on, uh-huh. then return it. it out there, or even just leave, leave it, it in, in the water. In the water. Fine. Did you steal it? Yeah. Yes, you did. You didn't steal. Well, it. it's part of the water. You're yeah. saying you're <laughs> no, not. Like, you're, you're not it taking leave it home. the lake. It right. didn't leave the lake. It didn't leave the lake. Let me ask That's you this. That's what I say up at the Dan, cabin, guys. Dan, Nothing let, leaves uh, the lake. Fine, but let me let me say this, okay? If you had a very large circular driveway at your house, sure, okay. And you parked the car at one end, mm-hmm. and someone came to your house, broke into your car, and drove well, it to the in. other. Well, they drove it to the other. Okay, you left it open, and sure. they drove it to the other end of the right. driveway. Is that stealing? I it? don't know. <laughs> yeah, you 100%. moved. You think so? Are you sure? <laughs> of Barry says yes. So sure. It's a joyride. You took a joyride. <laughs> you took. That's never, a joyride. You did something how long you weren't is. supposed to you, do. Yeah, you. Moved, you took my thing. You moved my property. I think it might just be trespass. Well, I know for a fact you if, moved my property. You did not steal it. If the person was drunk, you can get a DUI on a swan. Oh, for oh, sure. 100%. Live and boat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if you're, if you're trying to ride a regular swan DUI. while drunk. They'll really ring you up for that. Was it part of uh, like a swan boat uh, company, or was this someone swan, swan boat? boats at Lake Eola? Mm-hmm. Okay, in the, centered around the fountain. I like that this was not a part of a swan boat company. That this was just it's a guy. Li- like, like no, how- no, it's Lynn Swans. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> how many? Are you going for the record, Jason? Yeah, <laughs> at Sklar Brothers. Wait, how many? How? Okay, so let me just say this about the swan boats. Okay. How many? Both husbands and wives, mm-hmm. spouses have said to their other spouse, hey, you want to go take that swan boat out? And just the sigh that comes from the, the other. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, if you that. want to, if you want to. Yeah, let's... maybe he maybe he was trying to find his inner romance. With, he's like, trying to love himself I like the idea again. that this guy was just going to try and get home with it, and he just couldn't find his way out of the lake. Right. <laughs> it's going to tell me I can't here. drive. Terrible. What did he, he just wanted to go around yeah, at around three thirty a.m. How oh, old so was this guy? So he did steal it in the middle of the night. Uh, uh, wait, so there, so so I was wrong. This there is an option to steal a boat in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah, you're he's right. done it. But he might have started day drinking. Yeah, yeah. why yeah, not? It's possible. How do you rev up a swan boat? You know everything about swan Vocally. boats, right? Vocally, <laughs> vocally. <laughs> <laughs> we are going fast. Three thirty a.m. It's just a paddle boat shaped like a swan. Uh, that's it. just a swan. Oh, that's on the everyone's side. property. It's a lot uh, of leg power. Paddle boat. We used to have one of those up the lake too, and it always was a good idea for the first fifteen minutes. Yeah. Then first, you're like, do you first want to hundred paddles pumping this all the way back? And then and there's, there's like a current pushing you away from the dock, and you're like, nope, this is that hard. happens too. This is hard. At around three thirty a.m., this is. I mean, that is middle of the night. Yep. Yeah. Kyle Thurston successfully made it onto the. Linton E. Allen Memorial Fountain. You know he's pissed. Linton. <laughs> he is only like, got a fountain. Linton yeah. E. Allen. In the middle of Lake Eola on the stolen swan. So he, I hope he got on with the intent of going. Oh, yeah. I'm fountain. getting on that. That's what he got on. Because the bar that kicked him out said, Your night's over. And he said, Uh uh-huh. uh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It ain't. <laughs> it ain't over. Maybe sir, he hated sir. Linton E. Allen. <laughs> sir. Who's Linton E. Allen? LEA? Yeah, I don't know. Lea, sir, <laughs> sir, I can't stop. Uh-uh. Sir, uh-uh. I cannot stop you from. I, once you leave this these premises, you do whatever. That's you, fine. But your night is over. It, uh-uh. it, I'm looking up Linton E. Allen. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> Look hey, up Linton. Hey, I, I know you kicked me out. You kicked me out of here. Yeah, you're out. Your sir. night is over. Your night sir. is over. Oh yes! <laughs> yes, it wait, is. Wait a sec. Wait a second. Wait what? a second. Wait what? a second. What, 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 what do you want to ask me? I don't know. Who this, can sir, I, stop just leaning to him on and everybody. Just, just listen to stop him. Stop leaning on everybody. Just what listen if, to him and let him leave. What if I check some IDs? No. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Sir, your night. What did I say? Your night, night is, is not over. over. It's over. What are you gonna do about it? Where are you going to go? Hey, come, There's nothing to me. do at this. I'm come not with coming Stop. with you. Quit Stop. this job. Every bar is here. closed. There is nothing to do. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Get on a swan and, and put it up on the fountain in the middle of that lake? 
Maybe. <laughs> hey guys, ah! what, what, what did I miss? That nothing. guy just ran out. <laughs> That's my improv here. I'm who a guy is, who just walked into the bar. <laughs> the, the, oh, missed that whole conversation. Yeah, but you're, the guy, you're the guy who's like, can I just get hey, my whoa. fucking ID checked? Hey guys, I, who's Ellie Linton? <laughs> There's no. It's just a fountain. Okay. I can't find a person. <laughs> they named the fountain. They, they named, named the it's fountain. It's just the name of the fountain. No, it's not, right. a it's not a person. Linton in honor E. Of it. Allen. Linton E. Allen. It's just showing the fountain. It's a beautiful fountain. It is. It's gigantic too. What well, if that's Spanish for like a fountain making company? It reminds me <laughs> Linton of Linton E. Allen Memorial. Is, Linton E. Allen, Allen is like a Linton and Allen in Spanish. Sure. And maybe both people. Oh, he's die. like Lintony. Like yeah. he's he's got a lot of Linton. <laughs> if you told me Lintony <laughs> Allen was a very high end furniture store in the suburbs of St. Louis, I would not argue. What with kind you. of an Allen is he? He's Linton. Linton. He's Lintony. Linton. Yeah. There's is he, nothing. Is he a Linton? He's Lintony. <laughs> However, things went south when the swan boat drifted away from the fountain, and he resorted to screaming for help. Oh God! Oh, you so can't... there's more to this story? Oh, guys, <laughs> we've got, we've better hurry through this. We want to keep Barry, this a I thought that was it. I was like, this no. is Barry. You can't put yourself on a fountain and then scream for. I help. haven't even gotten to the best part. Okay, Please, let's get, get to it. There. At 3.40 a.m., officers were called about a man screaming from the lake. Orlando Police Department <laughs> spokesman Michelle Guido said, "I don't know Michelle if you want to." Guido. Be, I don't know hey, if you want to. Hey, uh-uh. You're going the wrong Guido. way here. I don't know if you want to be a cop whose last name is associated with an argument about who shot first. Hey. Just, a, just a theory. Hey. I might change it. Hey. Also, imagine the person who was like, that guy was out there is yelling. Should we call a cop? Let him yell for a while Let's longer. See how far he it's goes. not over. Michelle Guido sounds like a temporary name in a script about the mafia. Yeah, exactly. no, just for sure. It's just we'll a call her, so- we'll get we'll call her something it. later. For now, <laughs> but for now, what should I just type call in? Just Michelle Guido. Guido. Why, don't just you guys, why? Just write placeholder. Just nah, nope. Michelle Guido. I'll just type just Michelle write. Guido. Yeah, Vinny but what spaghetti. if someone's... <laughs> After being rescued, but before Thurston was transported, he explained... His name's Thurston? Yeah, yeah. Thurston. Kyle Thurston. I mean, Oof. as a person who is trying to do Thurston. something... Thurston. He is Thurston. Yeah. Straight Thurston. Thurston for action. He explained he ingested a large quantity of molly oh. and... Oh. and Wanted to be with the sons. <laughs> Swan, sons. Here, let's try it again. Swans. Wanted to be with the swans because, quote, the swans didn't judge him. That's true. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> see, I... he did get kicked out of a party, maybe. But by the way, sort of if rave. we know anything about swans from the ugly duckling and. They're shitty. They're dicks. They're not Swans cool. are the judgiest of They're all. They're ugly on the inside. They're the ugly on the inside. They literally Didn't shit they judge everywhere. that one thing? Yeah, the ugly become, duckling. Didn't become a swan. Everyone's like, oh. No, those were the ducks that judged Yeah, the him. ducks judged. He did become a swan because he was ugly on the inside and ended up looking great on the outside. Were the swans uh, dicks? No, no, no. no, no the the swan, I thought dicks. the swans were because he was black. I've seen mm. squ- hey, white hey, swans. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> Hey, it's Michelle Guido. Hey, hey, hey where are you taking it out of the hey, oven? Hey, I've got he a also- swan boat. Johnny Swan Boat over here. <laughs> what are you doing? Why don't you get out of that fountain here? It's Michelle Guido. According to Michelle Guido, he stated that he cook- <laughs> took the swan boat out onto the lake to be with the swans yep. and paddled it to the fountain. Oh, okay. Oh, Once- I did get that fairy tale 100% wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but I still have been around swans and their dicks. I got oh, I well, it was called the ugly duckling, right? Hey, yes. uh, <laughs> Michelle yes. Guido comes in and she says, you know, Thurston, he sleeps with the swans. <laughs> hey. we'll, we'll clean it up when we get to a final draft. But for right now, I love that you chose to... sleeps with, not swims with, no. which is the more, way more it's obvious. It's like Luke O'Brien. <laughs> he sleeps with the swans. Police say that once on the fountain, Kyle Thurston forgot to tie up the boat. Uh-oh. And when he returned to where the boat was supposed to be, as, though, the, as though he had told it like a child, like, stay here. <laughs> sit, sit. You stay sit, right here. I'm going to come right back. <laughs> I'll be right there. Have you guys ever as parents been afraid to even leave the room when your kids were little? Like, do not, I have to run into the bathroom oh, and you cannot. Yeah, one still, time I put my still. my oldest daughter when she was a baby on like a bed. It was ridiculously high and she was on a bed and I went down the hall to pee and I can't, and she had fallen off the bed. <laughs> like, just like stay everything, here. I, everything I wanted to happen did not happen. Well, I choked on a quarter <gasps> when I was a kid. What? Really? Yeah, isn't that crazy? How? What happened? I almost died. You my pretended mom pretended you were in an arcade? <laughs> Yeah. I was see if Molly. I put this in here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be with the quarters, Mom. I want to be with the quarters, Mom. <laughs> what? Hey, yeah, yeah. Did you have to go Brad to the yard? Brad Roth brought yeah. sleeps with hey, it's Michelle Guido. Hey! Wow, where are you guys going? Hey, Barry Roth. Hey. Why don't you put a quarter in Barry Roth? What'd you do, Barry? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> did you have to go to the ER? 
No, my mom punched me in the back and or slapped me in the back. That had nothing to do with the quarter. (laughs) She didn't know. She didn't know. Standard (laughs) operating procedure. That was just a regular. Thank God she was there to slap you. That was his mom's good morning. Maybe this is a dumb question. Did it go up or down when you got slapped in the back? (laughs) Shit right out of my butt. Wow. Really? No, no, it came out of my mouth. Uh She slapped you in the back and it popped out of your mouth. (laughs) Why were you eating a quarter? I just it was it was near food and I was I was like just grabbing at stuff and she left me alone. That's what I was saying. She left me alone. In the human <laughs> slot machine. Yeah, Robert! A so. quarter, like your Tupac and above the rim. Yeah, he uses a razor blade. I want to play it safe. Oof. All right, so he's on the fountain. The yes. boat is floating he tied away. Up to, he forgot to tie up the boat and then returned where the boat was supposed to be, but the boat didn't listen. I feel like we should do this story in Michelle Guido voice. <laughs> <laughs> you just heard her count, right? He sat down and began calling for help. Uh-huh. Officers then asked the man if he was trying to hurt himself. He said he was not and that he had a life preserver that he found on the swan boat okay. that he took oh. with them. Great. Swim to up. safety, you dummy. Yeah. They have not announced whether any charges will be pressed against Kyle Thurston. Now, well, I think he's earned it. I think, too. I think he's earned it. A little bit of mischief. Maybe not criminal. He didn't do anything Got wrong. Got himself in trouble. Just Who continued is the, the party. Governing... I think it's the swan boat's fault right. for having a, the people who own for it. For being so inviting. For, yeah, for <laughs> having swans that aren't so judging fun. people. <laughs> you guys, I'm going to ask you now. Uh-huh. How old Here we go. is Kyle Thurston? Too much fun leaves marks in life. Living hard, you'll pay the price. Who is going to get it right? Guess the age. Guess the age. You are a guest, so you can go first, third, or Tignataro, which is the second spot. Because so you, you just guessed, and I, what do you think? For real, you can go for fir- real. Yeah, you, can do you go, go first, first, second, or third. Mm. I want to go second. Okay, okay good. Tick, the tick's going the tick. All right, Jay, you want to go first? Randy? Yeah, this guy's 26. 26 years old yep. from Jason Sklar. Yep. Add up everything you know about him. Okay. He's doing Molly. He was Molly. at a bar. He's doing thir- Molly. I don't know. We don't know. You said he was at a bar, right? I made that up as well. Or was that just improv? Yeah, that was, that was, that was improv. Okay. I, think I mean, he, he definitely got kicked I out I confuse improv in real life. I mean, look, he may have a fake ID. I think he's 19. 19 years yeah. old from 19. Randy Sklar. I'm 26 19. from Jason Sklar. Barry Rothbard. Rothbar. Barry's supposed to go second, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I, I, <laughs> it's fine. I actually have two answers. Let's hear Good. You get to pick one. I have four ages. Wow. Fair enough. Fair enough. not the Way you play I'm the gonna game, tell right? you he he is uh, 34. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go high on this one. Right. Okay. 34. And what and is Michelle your Michelle Guido <laughs> is 46. Hey! Hey! But I look 52. Oh! All right, you right, dummies, so... you stupid. By the way, I love that. I... <laughs> he said 46, and I was like, damn, that's old. And then I'm like, wait, we just turned 46. Okay. <laughs> All Ooh. right, Jason went with. 26. 26. 19 from Randy Scott. No, 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 34. no, no, 19. 34. Price is right. 34. From Bear uh, we go straight up no matter what. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah. If you're over, it doesn't matter. matter. Oh. Doesn't matter. Oh. Closest to Close it, over or on yeah. it. Oh, I, I don't know why. I thought it was prices. Is that the price is right? <laughs> no one ever does people that. Town. No, we do wrong. encourage people to spay and neuter their pets, but, but of course. But it, you can go over. Kyle Thurston, yes. the man who kept his night going. Rode a swan to be with them because they didn't judge him, then got marooned on a fountain named after a guy nobody knows, is. 36 years old. Oh! Hey, oh! Hey, whoa, wait, why are you going? Why are you I don't want him to judge me. All right, jeez. Unbelievable. 36, what do I get? 36 uh, years old. You get the knowledge, the knowledge that you're right. The knowledge that you are right. Look at that guy. Oh! He does not Jesus. look 36. I want to judge the hell out of I that I love guy. hairlines that are impossible to describe to someone. <laughs> where it started. That is an old Also, 36. where did it start? That's like, <laughs> he has three different hairlines. It's John Grease in a bald cap. Uh, John Grease from Napoleon Dynamite. If Uncle you told- Rico in Napoleon Dynamite with a bald cap. If you told me that that guy, 36-year-old, had grandkids, I'd be like, yep. 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 I, wouldn't even, I wouldn't even pause. Yep. I'd be like, yep. 18-year-old daughter, one-year-old kid. Well, there you yeah. go. There's That's a mini soap. Follow Barry Rothbart on Twitters at Barry Rothbart and uh, where people can see you live same thing or where can people hey. oh, I'm gonna I don't know when this is dropping but I'm gonna be headlining the Hollywood Melrose Improv when on January 31st oh yeah, oh, yeah. before that go see him at new that new hour uh, new hour fantastic brand new 
Go. Lovely. Check yeah. it out. Go. Enjoy it. And the new podcast is new called... New podcast is called Get High and Save the World. Right. Why not? Talk I want to do all those world. things. Thurston tried to yeah. do it. He tried to do it and failed, but maybe Barry Rothbard can do it. That's a mini-sode, guys. We'll see you on Monday with a... Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday with a uh, full-length episode, but uh, thank you uh, for enjoying this. And oh, yeah. shit, we got to get back to work. Stick around. Make a sound. Come down. It's Dumb People Town.